Welcome to a tier list. I haven't done one of these in a while, actually, and I thought it'd be fun to do one of these again, which is why I'm doing it again. Good lord, I'm bad at this. But yes, uh, as you can see here, I'm uh, ranking Mario characters, because I thought it'd be really fun to do, honestly, and it's not often I get to just talk about uh, Mario in a standalone video, because usually it'd be in some sort of... Um, uh, video essay where it's part of the topic I'm talking about and not it's just a standalone thing so yeah I just thought it would be fun to do I've done a top 5 Mario characters list in the past so um, maybe a couple of these uh, can maybe a couple of these results may be a little obvious to you ahead of time um, but uh, yeah so, as you can see at the bottom here, these are mainstays of the Mario, of the Mario series. Uh, I mean, you got a few. You obviously got the mainstay characters along with the um, a few of the Mario enemies, including everybody's favourite Smash Bros. character, Brian Plant. I know you sure is mine. Uh, but they don't have Boo. They don't have Boo, um, which is actually one of my favourite. In fact, my favourite uh, Mario enemy. So this tier list immediately. It's not going to get ranked. It's not going to get ranked. It's not going to be rated well, is what I mean. <laughs> I'm kidding, but... Anyway, uh, I, to be honest, I did actually think this was Boo at first, because I did consider Crown on top of it, but no, this is King Boo. Uh, so yeah, these being mainstays, there are obviously many exclusions, being uh, a few including like Lubber from Super Mario Galaxy 2, uh, Maybe more beloved characters like Goombella from Paper Mario Fantasy Door and uh, Gino from Super Mario RPG. Rest in peace in Smash Bros. Dreams. Um, but yeah, these are just like the mainstays and obviously the ones that you know, most people are going to know. Although I would argue against the inclusion of Pink Old Peach on here, as you can see, but that's why she's got her own ranking here. Uh, I mean, also because it's Pink or Peach, so we'll just, yeah, we'll do that immediately. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to explain my reasoning behind that, it's pretty obvious. She just kind of sucks. Uh, yes, so, I mean, we're still enough, we might as well just get into it. Start with Bowser Jr. here. Ah, uh, Bowser Jr. Um, made his debut in Super Mario Sunshine as a sort of mini boss, I guess. And it also implied that uh, the reason he exists is because Princess Peach had fun with Bowser one night. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> which is not helped by Peach's reaction to it, her having to think about what Bowser Jr. just said, which is funny in its own right, in multiple ways. But like, <laughs> uh, I, I like Bowser Jr. I mean, it's kind of a I don't really know, I don't have, I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of stuff to say about Bell Jr. I don't want to say his initials, because this is really, um, uh, honestly, I'd put him in B. I do like him as a character, and whenever he makes his appearances in uh, main Mario games, or uh, even the um, spin-offs, I always like seeing him on screen. I mean, he's fun. I think he's a fun character in general, so just put him there. Uh, Donkey Kong. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's Donkey Kong, you know? It's, it's bloody Donkey Kong. Uh, the first uh, Mario enemy, I guess. That's what you want to call him? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, how Mario you know, technically debuted in 1981 and how Donkey Kong debuted in 1981. Although, you know, you can argue that Cranky Kong was the original Donkey Kong, so, but we're not going to enter that argument. I don't think it's important. But anyway, uh, yes, uh, 
Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong ahead of him are more part of their own series nowadays, even though we haven't had a proper DK installment for the past seven years. Uh, come on, Nintendo, please. I, I wanted to have Donkey Kong game. Tropical Freeze was absolutely amazing. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, his games his games are great, honestly. DKC uh, Returns, I would love that game. And as I've already said, Tropical Freeze, amazing. Uh, as a character, though, yeah, I mean, it's big, big ape wearing a tie. I mean, that's peak character design for you. Um, he does an A. I, um, Oh yeah, hey. I wouldn't put him in S, but hey, it's a good one. Diddy Kong. Uh, I, I guess I don't like Diddy Kong a lot. I'll, I'll be honest, not as much, not as much as the next guy. Um, just he's just a smaller Donkey Kong, really. I mean, I guess he's a fun character, but like he's like annoying to deal with in Smash Brothers. But we're not really talking about it that here. Uh, yeah, I mean. I guess it's a good companion when he appears in Donkey Kong games. He has his um, uh, jet bow, which is kind of cool. Uh, 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 we'll put him in C. Kamek or Magic Cooper, even. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, whenever Magic Cooper's with or is accompanying uh, Bowser Jr., for example, um, it's referred to as Kamek? Even though Kamek doesn't have a different design to Magic Cooper. Personally, I think it sh I think they should have just stuck with um, uh, Cammy. I think that's her name. Who last appeared in, Super in Paper Mario Fantasy at all? Because it's a different character design. It's a unique character design, and that's the problem with um, uh, the Mario series nowadays. Just that it's, uh, that that's a different topic. I don't really want to get into. But if we're rating it. If we're ranking this character based on the fact it's Kamek and not Magic Cooper, then huh, I guess I put it. I guess I put Kamek in C, but if it was Magic Cooper, I'd put it in like E, uh, maybe D. I uh, will put it in C because it's we don't actually know. Goomba. Uh, it, it's the Goomba. Everyone knows what the Goomba is. It's a walking mushroom. It's the classic first Mario enemy, the first thing you encounter in any game. Um, but it doesn't, you know, it's, it's just there, it's just the iconic Mario enemy, you know? Kind of like the Keep Trooper uh, following it. Um, I mean, if there's one thing that's really good about it, it's the fact that it appears in um, uh, Super Mario Sluggers. I think that's the game, yes, where it can actually hold a baseball bat somehow. Um, how it holds it is... Uh, it's uh that's up to you um but uh yeah i yeah yeah no it, it it's it's a character it, it's an enemy just pretty uh cooper trooper cooper trooper i'm a little more fond of uh it's i always cooper trooper was always like one of my mains in mario kart if that has anything to do with anything um i, I don't know I, it's weird i have a strange affinity for cooper trooper it's just, uh, it's a cute turtle enemy, and like, you get a lot of use out of its shell in uh, the mainline Mario games, and Mario Kart as well, and all that. Um, I, yeah, I, I honestly, you know, it's, yeah, I'd honestly put it in B if I was going to be brutally honest with you, because I like him through a lot, uh, even if I maybe prefer paratrooper more because it has the wings but only because of the wings um but yeah it's in be it goes i guess uh moving on to its dead brethren dry bones uh dry bones yeah, again i like dry bones a lot um another one of my main mains in the uh, mario karts oh man dry bones in mario kart ds was so fun it had this like bone cruiser thing i forget what it's called and had the, had the little tank Oh, he was so cool. I remember like unlocking him for the first time and being oh, I, I just love him. I just love him. He's <laughs> just a just a uh, fun character, I guess that'd be. Even though he is dead, I mean he's at least immune to fireballs now. So there's that. Um Yeah, I mean I love playing with Mario Kart, I love just it's, it's 
it's a fun character. He's going in with A, believe it or not. Some people are going to fight me for this, if anyone actually watches these. Anyway, Shy Guy. Um, <laughs> Shy Guy, I mean, you know, you know what I mean. You, you know, it's like, what's under the mask? Who who knows? But like, Shy Guy's a, another one of those fun characters, you know, it's just doesn't really appear that often nowadays unless it's in spin-off Mario games like Mario Party or Mario Karts. Uh, I believe his last main series appearance was probably Super Mario Bros. 2. You know, the uh, was essentially a ROM hacker of Doki Doki Panic. Um, I was going to say Literature Club then, but luckily I didn't. Um, Yeah, I mean, the, the different colours Shy Guy comes in are nice. That's, that's kind of like Yoshi later on. Um, but, you know, I don't... I don't really have much of an opinion on Shy Guy, much like I did with uh, Diddy Kong. So I'll put him in the same ranking as Diddy Kong. But anyway, where they're positioned in the uh, tiers themselves doesn't really matter. Just, they're just put in the tiers, alright? Uh, however, um, apart from being one of the Dickhead Mario enemies with his, with its um, hammer arcs, which are like, I swear those things are always like, I don't know, just, uh, it's just one of those dickhead Mario enemies that like, everyone seems to have trouble with on their first attempt. Hell, even I do still to stick for whatever reason, because like, the, the arc of the hammer is just like always brain seems to shut off whenever I see them on screen. <laughs> it's words that used to say. Um. Uh, it hasn't been playable in a lot of Mario games. Uh, maybe in a couple of Mario parties. Um, <laughs> never been in Mario Kart. Uh, I think it was in Sluggers, maybe. But, uh, I don't know, I'd probably put in the same ranking as Goomba, honestly. Uh, but, next up, Rosalina. Uh, uh, as I said, if you by chance see my top 5 Mario characters <coughs> uh, list, you know Rosalina is my favourite character, so she obviously goes in S, just gonna get out of the way now, and that's because she's the most, like, story driven character in the series, which, yeah, I, I understand that's not exactly a high bar, considering my series has never been focused on story, but rather gameplay, but in her debut in Super Mario Galaxy, she actually had a lot of story behind her in the, um, Originally, a storybook which you can read in the library, and oh man, oh man, just thinking about just thinking about the storybook and the music that plays along with it as you're reading through it, it's just it's always such it's so emotional, it's so fitting, like it's such a tragic backstory as well. Like, she's such a she's such a good character, and like it's really pretty designed as well, honestly. like. I love the blue dress, I love the fact she's just got these <laughs> anti-grab powers, I'm not sure what to call it. Um, telepathy? Telekinesis? Uh, I don't know, she can just float. I think that's really cool. Uh, she's also like the Mushroom, equivalent, Mushroom Kingdom's equivalent of God, the Queen of Stars if you will. And I think that's really cool. So uh, yeah, of course she goes in S. Uh, on to the man himself, the titular Mario. Um, yeah, I mean, it's Mario, what can you really say about him? Uh, it's the the funny Wahoo man, you know? Uh, I think it's like he's... See, I struggle with this one. It's like, it, it's Mario, like I said, the, the main, the, the, the guy, the man himself. But like, he hasn't got a lot of personality going for him, and like, his brother later on, which you can see later on in the in the list here. But uh, like it's it's Mario, what can you really say? Like I mean he goes I'm gonna put him in A, because like it, it's Mario. But yeah, side on. Anyway, uh Pauline. Uh I'm I, I hmm. Pauline, uh I okay, alright, let's uh, gloves are off. Um, I don't actually like Pauline that much, I will be brutally honest. Um, I think her inclusion in Super Mario Odyssey was pretty cool, and I, I really like that, how she was like the mayor of uh, New Dog City. I, I, I did like that, but 
The character herself, I'm not too big fan of. It's nothing against her voice actress or anything, it's just... I don't like characters that much, really. It's just... She, I don't know, she feels kind of out of place with the rest of the cast. Sure, she still has like the... The other ways, the uh... She's in these similar art styles, same kind of human form compared to... Like, uh... You know, the rest of the humans. But like, she feels out of place and it's really hard for me to describe why but yeah I don't know I mean she was the original like uh, damsel in distress in Donkey Kong but like what else has she got going for her you know <laughs> sounds kind of harsh I realize but uh, with that said uh, she's going in I kind of feel like E is too harsh I do uh PD Piranha Peter Brown is cool. I guess that's pretty all I have to say about him. Uh, debuted in Sunshine. Uh, hasn't really made a lot of appearances since uh, New Super Mario DS, where he was uh, the boss of World 5 in that game, the Ice World. Has he made an appearance at all? I guess in Brawl, as a boss in the Subspace Emissary. Oh yeah, he's also Prime Plants for Final Smash in Ultimates. Um, kind of just like the uh, oh voice crack there. Oh Jesus, uh, kind of just like the uh, king of the Piranha Plants, if you will. I I don't think that's ever been referred, been like specifically mentioned what PD is exactly, but actually, wait a minute, he's pretty fun to watch in um, Super Mario Strikers. I know, it's, it's really funny there. Um, I don't, I'd say C, honestly. Uh, not, not one of the greatest Mario boss enemies, but like, could be worse, you know. Uh, speaking of Mario boss enemies, uh, King Boo. Um, I really like King Boo. Like, I always said before that how um, Boo is one of my favourite Mario enemies, so by extension, King Boo has to be one of my favourite characters as well, right? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, more or less. Um, Personally, I'm not a fan of his uh, main series design, as you can see here. I much prefer his um, Luigi's Mansion uh, designs, uh, specifically the Luigi's Mansion 2 design. I am playing Luigi's Mansion 3 yet, if you're curious. But yeah, I'm not a fan of his mainline design, and uh, it's a shame because we're ranking that one specifically here. So, with that said, it kind of brings it down a tier for me. There goes my phone. Alright, um, it's just a shame, otherwise I would have put King Boo in A, but like, because, again, we're ranking the main series design, along with it, along with everything else, just kind of go to B, it, it's, it's a shame, I mean, I do like King Boo, I think he's one of the more fascinating, uh, Mario boss enemies, but he's more interesting in the Luigi's Mansion series, you know, uh, Lakitu, Lakitu, like to, yeah, let's, let's go without pronunciation. Uh, just just a flying Koopa Trooper, really, that throws uh, the spiny shells. Um, it's also the uh, red Lakitu variant that appears as a playable character in Mario Kart, but... I don't know, I don't have a lot to say about him, i just going to put him in D, like... I mean, um, another one of those dickhead Mario enemies that you just hate to see in Mario levels, but yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, Piranha Plant. Um, if I were to be absolutely, just completely unfair, I'd put him in E, or just create a separate tier entirely called Piranha Plant because, oh, I hate this character in Smash Bros. I hate going up against it. It just, oh, it infuriates me. But I mean, you know, it it was a funny inclusion at the very least. Um. As a minor enemy, it's you know it's one of the more standard ones, but there's a couple of variants in them. Actually, there's a lot of variants in them. It's behind the scenes here, uh, for a moment. Um, I was gonna do at one point. I was gonna, I was gonna do a brief history kind of series where I like run down all the minor enemies, and the amount of variations of the piranha plant that were were kind of astonishing, really, and more than I actually realised. So. 
that was at least interesting in its own right. Uh, but the Piranha Plant itself, I mean, it, you know, it, it's a very clever play on words, you know, like the Venus flytrap and such, how it's based off the Venus flytrap, but it's a Piranha Plant, you know, whatever. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm being sort of wishy-washy on it, but I'd honestly, I would honestly put it in C, yeah. Um, Toads and Toadette, we might as well do both of these, because essentially the same character, but different genders, in my opinion, so, ah, uh, I don't know, anyway, uh, yeah, let's just do them separately, so, Toad, you know, it's Toad, yeah, it's the classic, <laughs> the classic living mushroom, if you will, uh, I, st I, I don't care about the thing that says, uh, the memes or whatever that says about how his mushroom head is a hat. I hate those. Don't ever show me those ever again. Um, it's a fun character. I like playing as him as Mario Kart. Uh, <laughs> I do kind of, for the meme's sake, one of the most playable characters in Smash Bros. Uh, he's also fun in the mainline games. I mean, those aren't. You aren't actually playing as Toad himself in the New Super Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. series. It's actually playing as uh, Blue and Yellow Toad. Uh, blue one is called Blueberry, and I forget the name of the yellow one, but I will have it on screen either way. <coughs> um, I mean, yeah, Toad's fun. I'll put him in B. Um, kind of the same with Toad, don't really. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Oh man, I you can't even bring it up again, but like, if it weren't for like, Toadette's inclusion in um, New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for the Switch, the uh, enhanced port of New Super Mario Bros. U, uh, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, sorry, then we wouldn't have the creation that was Bowsette, <laughs> what a glorious creation that was. The <laughs> so, <laughs> by default, it goes to the same rank as Toad for... Anyway, just moving on. I don't want to focus more on that right now. I don't want to. Don't. That, I just. No, stop it. Anyway. Luigi! Uh, so, yeah, Luigi is another one of my favourites, personally. Because uh, he's got a lot more personality than Mario. Like, I mean, again, it's not a very high bar, but, like, he's timid, he's. He's, a, he's scared, he's a scaredy cat. Like, those aren't exactly complex emotions to have on a character. But, like, it's still interesting in a way, you know? And like just he's always been the number two out of the out of the brothers. Out out of the brothers, you know. Sorry, I'm slowing my words a lot. And I just I don't know, I just always had the affinity for Luigi. I always love playing as him in uh, Mario Kart or whatever, my party. He's one of my mains in Mario Kart nowadays. It's weird it's to say how how many mains for Mario Kart, but he won't. Uh, he's a lot of fun to play in Smash, so you, you know. Um, and mainline Mario games, I always choose Luigi. Like if I'm like uh, Super Mario 3D World, for example, I will always choose Luigi because he's got the highest jump, and that's another thing that uh, separates him from Mario. It's like that's just his his thing. He's always been able to jump higher. He's I'm sure he's always had the uh, buttery shoes, but like. I don't know, that extra sense of difficulty that he has is also really interesting as well. And it's also kind of like why he's just so fun as a character. So, I'm going to put him in the same rank as Rosalina. So there he goes. Uh, Princess Peach. Um, you know, it, it, it's Princess Peach, you know. It's the, uh, the damsel in distress, the original one. Except the original one was Pauline, but never mind that. The original video game Zanzel in Distress. I'm likely wrong with that, but I do not care. Uh, it's just cute. You know, uh, a voice actress does an amazing job, even to this day. I really regret not being able to remember her name right now, which is a bad thing for reasons you might see in the future, but either way. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's cool. Not much to say on her, really. 
Uh, she's just the, uh, kind of the meme character, in a way where, oh, she always gets kidnapped, like, every week or so. But, you know. She's, it, it's Peach, you know, Princess Peach. Uh, I'll put him in B. On to her sister? I don't know, has that ever actually been... I don't know, I have this weird headcanon that they're sisters for some reason. <laughs> Whether that is my headcanon or that was actually mentioned somewhere, I just do not recall where it was mentioned. I'm not exactly sure. But either way, Princess Daisy. Uh, I like Daisy a lot more than I like Princess Peach because... Much like Luigi, compared to Mario, Princess Daisy has a lot more personality. It's kind of weird how that works, really. The character with the bro with more personality, Luigi, has uh, a thing for the sister. Sure, we'll go with that. The sister who has more personality, <laughs> Daisy, and I know that's just so funny to me. Oh man. Uh, anyway, though, yeah, as I said, got more personality than Peach. She's she's sassy, even though they've tried to like turn that down in recent times, which is just like. It's a complete bastardization of our character, sorry to say. Uh, complete character assassination. <laughs> Look at me. Caring about characters in. Uh... Well, no. The character's important to me, as I've said in the past, but like. She's sassy, she's fun, she's a genuinely, like, really fun character. Like, hearing all her quips. Hi, I'm Daisy! You, you know the one. <laughs> She has funny things to say, and like, yeah, I just like her a lot. So, she goes an A. She wouldn't go an S, so I don't think she's that good, but she's still really good. Uh, Yoshi. Uh, okay, I'll be up front here. Uh, for the longest time, I didn't really like Yoshi. I thought he was an overrated character, but in recent years, I've come to, I've come to really like him, and I think it's just because. I don't know the exact reason, just, I guess because I just grew up and just, you know, looked back on my old reasons for not liking him, which were just, which I don't remember, honestly, but, I don't know, I mean, he's, he's a dinosaur, I like dinosaurs, I've always liked dinosaurs, which is weird to say now that I've just said I didn't actually used to like him, but, anyway, yeah, the dinosaur thing, uh, we, he, he, he helps you through levels and all. He's like, he's there. He's always there. He's always been there. I mean, except when he hasn't. He's not commonly in 3D games for some reason. He's a Galaxy 2 at least, but either way, um, <laughs> we don't have Galaxy 2 on the Switch yet. But that's a different topic for a different day. Uh, hopefully never. Um, I much like Shiger. He also has a lot of different colors, which I do appreciate. I really like the um. Dark Blue Yoshi, that one's a lot of fun. I always use that one in my account whenever I play Yoshi. Um, I mean, Yoshi's fun. He's he's make he makes he's cute. He's a dinosaur, which is you know cool in its own right. So, uh, would I put him in A or would I put him in B? You know, I'll put him in A. Uh, yeah, I really like Yoshi a lot. He's he's so fun. He's just like he's really cute and the noises he makes. And he's, he's just an absolute bro, helping you through, through levels, you know? Uh, Birdo. I don't like Birdo. I'm just, just gonna be honest. I don't like Birdo. Because I just don't think she's interesting at all. When's even the last time she appeared? Um. Mario Kart Wii, I think. As a playable character. Has she appeared since? I don't actually know. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, she's been absent for a real long time now, I'm, I'm pretty sure, but, yeah, anyway, like, I mean, the, at least the one thing I can respect about her is, like, supposedly she's, uh, trans, transgender, so, that's interesting in its own, right, but, like, it's not canon, I believe? Right. I think it's at least implied. Which I guess is interesting, but I 
that's pretty much the only interesting thing about her. <clears throat> Not further her design either, like... What what even is it supposed to be? To think Yoshi has a thing for this thing. <laughs> oh, that's actually really rude to say, considering transgender, my apologies. But I mean thing is in, in terms of a design, like... It's some kind of dinosaur, obviously, it's some kind of dinosaur, I get it, but... What the hell kind of dinosaur, that's the question. Um, so, up in, up in D. Nothing's going E yet, yet, but... I mean... Maybe soon. Probably, anyway. Uh, moving on to Wario. Um, Wario doesn't really make many uh, mainline series appearances, mostly because he has his own series of games, the WarioWare series. Uh, side note, I am not paying uh, 50 quid or 60 dollars for uh, while you're to get, get it together, I'm just not. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, he's the uh, comedy relief character along with Waluigi. They, they had really good uh, moments in that one My Tennis game. Uh, I forget which one it was, it'll be on screen now, along with that cutscene playing. But, um, You know, I'd honestly, if I'm gonna do these, I'll just do them together. Uh, why why Luigi? Just Luigi and Mario's, Mario and Luigi's um, rivals, obviously. Um, I mean, why Luigi is at least fun in his own right. Like being able to swim in midair—that's pretty. That's pretty creative. And why his whole thing is just he's he farts really. And that's. I mean, I'm not really one for toilet humor. To be honest, so um, uh, I'll, I'll put them both in C. I, I don't know. I kind of want want to put Waluigi up to B, maybe just because of how just just like quirky he is compared to Wario. And yeah, actually, I'll, I'll do that. So there we go. See, uh, Bowser. <laughs> As you know, my. F Used to be my favourite Mario character until you know I recently came along. Uh, but yeah, Bowser's just so cool to me. Like this massive fire breathing turtle. Like I just remember seeing him for the first time, being just in awe at his design. Sure, it's arguably simple, but like, I, like what, what age was I then? Seven, I think, when I first played New Super Mario DS. Seven year old me loved that design, just like, I thought it was so cool. And like, I still really like him to this day, like, he's so well written in like, uh, the RPG series. I mean, you wouldn't know that nowadays with games like Paper Mario 6 though, but it just doesn't talk at all, which is an absolute crime. But, we're not here to talk about that. <laughs> and it's just, he's so, he's so fun. It's like, and, just, and Nintendo using him as using him Bowser Jr. to push uh, parental controls. Oh, that's that's so good. He's just so good. So you know he obviously goes in S. That's yeah. You know it, it's Bowser. It, he's so good. Uh, baby Mario, and baby Luigi. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> just gonna say that now. Uh, these two debuted in Mario Luigi uh, Partners in Time. Uh, it just kind of there, really, you know. A playable character in my car says that at least, but I just don't care. They're just baby versions of Mario Luigi. Just you know, it's you know. okay. Well, actually, they didn't debut in uh, Pun Time. Technically, Baby Mario debuted in uh, Super Mario World 2: Yoshi's Island, but that aside. These two characters are going unique. There's just I have nothing to say about them at all. Uh, say with Mario, Mario, it's just Mario but metal. It's, you know why he's become a, play a mainstay playable character is beyond me because it's just Mel Mario. And you know, side note, actually, <laughs> why do people like complain about Pink or Peach but give Mario, Mel Mario a pass? Sure, I understand. Metal Mario, Metal Mario at least existed in the series beforehand as the um, uh, Metal Mushroom power up in Super Mario 64, but 
in essence, they're both the same kind of thing, you know? Just recolorings of the same character. Just recolorings of an already existing character, you know? It's just... Actually, upon saying that, I'm just gonna put Mel Mary and E. Like, I just don't like these two characters. Because they're just... They're just recolorings, essentially. But, anyway. But, and that leaves moves us on to the Kooflings. Um, these seven of them, exact. Um, to be exact. I don't... See, here's where I struggle. I do like the Kooflings, but I don't have much to say about them. And, to be honest, like... My opinion is all the same for the Kooflings, where... Other than Ludwig, which I'll get onto in a moment. Where, like... I like them. I think they're decent inclusions. I don't really think they're as overexposed in the Mario series as some people think they are. I thought they were... <laughs> I like their inclusions in Mario Kart 8, which people were actually complaining about, saying how they should have just been the one character that you can select uh, other forms for. You know, like with um, Shagai and uh, Yoshi, but... They're all different characters in their own right. So I don't really agree with the argument. But either way, like getting on to Ludwig now at least. Um I mean I've always had a strange affinity for Ludwig, and that's probably because like he's got dark blue hair and dark blue or royal blue, if you will, is my favourite colour. So maybe it's just personal bias on that end. On my end there. But, um, yeah, the Kooplings, uh, I don't know, they're always, like, I do appreciate them as an inclusion. Return to New Super Mario Bros. Wii in 2000, and I want to say 9, um, after being absent for a real long time since Super Mario World, which was at least, if I'm getting this right here, um, 12, 13 years? I believe Super Mario World was 1996. I'll have it on screen if I'm wrong. <coughs> so, the return to this, this series was kind of cool. But it's been like 15. No, it hasn't. It's been 13 years since. Or 13 or 12 years since then. If it was 2009, it would have been 12 years. But I have a feeling it's 2008. Though that 2008 feeling is probably wrong. Anyway. Uh, so you know, Larry, Morton, Wendy, Icky, Roy, Lemmy, and Ludwig, kind of just all I have the same opinion on. They're decent, but they're not great. I'm not sure what else to say, really. Um, yeah, they're, they're there. They're definitely there. Uh, so I'm just gonna, where would I put them, though? I don't want to put them in B, I'll put them all in, I don't know, maybe C's a little too much. No, C's probably the right. Uh, that's here. Just move them there. No. No, 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 no. We're not putting Wendy up there. She's. Oh, 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 okay, okay, oh, okay. Stop. I freaked out for a second there. And uh, love with that. Nah, uh, I'm. Um, no, even I have a, even if even though I have a personal bias for Lovewood, I'm just gonna keep him in the same tier anyway because I think that's honestly fair. Uh, but yeah, that's what we got. Uh, that this is our results. Um, and that's Rosalina, Luigi, Bowser, A, Donkey Kong, Dry Bones, Mario, Daisy, Yoshi, in B, Bowser Jr., Cooper Trooper, King Boo, Toad, Toadette, Peach, and Waluigi. In C, Diddy Kong, Kamek. Like I said, it would be you see without Magic Cooper, but we ra we ranked it based on the, the fact based on uh, it being Kamek, uh, Shy Guy, Peter Piranha, Piranha Plant, Wario, Larry, Morton, Wendy, Iggy, Roy, Lemmy, Ludwig, D, Goomba, uh, Hammerbro, Pauline, Lakitu, still don't know pronunciation, Birdo, in E, Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, <laughs> Perf perfect symmetry there. Uh, and Pink Gold Peach, we have Pink Gold Peach and Mel Mayo. I should name that tier Pink Gold Peach and Mel Mayo. And guess what I'm about to do? That's the wrong one. Uh, 
There we go. That's done. That's complete. That feels complete. There we go. And yeah, that's that's the list. That's the tier list, even. And I'm really slow in my words a lot. As you can tell, I'm not, I don't have a script. Uh, but yes, uh, I thought this was pretty fun. Uh, I just like talking about things I like. Oh, it's wow. Actually, I, this is why I write scripts for myself. But yeah, I, I thought this was honestly really fun. Again, I don't really get too many chances to talk about Mario in a standalone video. So I thought a tier list sort of format would be perfect to do so, especially with like what Mario is kind of known for in a sense and its, char its characters. Kind of like how the Sonic series is known for its number of characters, really. Uh, will I ever count tackle the Sonic series? Uh, the answer is no. I I haven't played enough Sonic games to really have an opinion. I, I, I guess I could through conjecture, but no, I don't want to do it like that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, yep, this is how the tier list is looking. Um, I guess I don't really know. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Man, this this is quickly turning into a mess. Uh, before I ramble on anymore and just torture you anymore with my ramblings, good lord. I'm just going to end the, end the video here. Oh, I could not end the video without slowing my words once more, it seems. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, I, there's a more meme type list coming out in a couple of days, uh, which I'm really looking forward to making, which I'm actually going to get to right after I make, right after I'm done with this recording. So. Yeah, I'm doing a double recording. It's not. It's rare that I actually do one of those nowadays, considering the type of content I put out. But yeah. Um. Thank you for watching, and see you then. I suppose.